Hey, Linux hacksers and all you vitamin D deficient people. I'm here on a miserable Monday, and I know you might have been anticipating my video two days ago, but April Fools, we switched the Linux hackster quickie to Monday. Tux likes Mondays. So last week we learned how to reconfigure your bootloader, so Linux ha now has its rightful place in the computing world without Windows dominating, but there's one problem. You have a virus. What do you do? So say you're infected with a big bad virus in Windows, and you're afraid to boot into Windows because that could cause the virus to spread and be more proliferate. So the cool thing about Linux is you don't actually have to install the kernel in your computer in order to run it. You can use something called a live CD, which I'm a big fan of, that actually you can boot off of it without accessing the boot records and run the antivirus through that. So I'm going to teach you how to cure your Windows virus using Linux. And we all know that Linux is safe, stable, and sexy, so this should be some pretty easy commands for you guys to follow. Check it out. So I have my faithful Ubuntu Live CD, and I have to enable the repository, so I'm going to System, Administration, and Software Sources. And then be sure to check all four boxes from Downloadable from the Internet and reload while it downloads the package information. And you can actually do this without the Internet, uh, but then you'd have the command line interface. So if you want the graphical front end, then that's what you do. And so I just pulled up the terminal there. And then type sudo apt get install clam tk. And I'm sorry that the code isn't the easiest to read. If you rewind it, I type it in big letters for you. And uh, I'm just saying yes to continue with the installation, and then I'm going to fast forward until it's done. And after the installation is complete, I will type the code to access the program, or you can just go to Application System and Virus Scan. So then, after it pops up, you want to go to Scan and select a recursive scan. And then you want to designate what drive you want to scan for viruses, so you do so, and then hit OK. And then all you need after that is time. And it's a pretty standard virus scan, so uh, if you're not clean, then it'll give you options on quarantining or other various things that you can do. So that's it on learning how to cure your Windows machine using Linux. Make sure next time you use protection and turn off JavaScript. Catch you back here next Monday. Until then, I'm going to go enjoy some Call of Duty and some wine. See you later.